balafon seems to be the ideal. Mm, the good life lets you hide all the sadness you feel. You won't really fall in love for you can take the chance so please be honest with yourself don't try to fake romance it's the good life to be free and explore the unknown Like the heartaches When you learn You must face them alone Please remember I still want you In a case you Kiss a good life Goodbye So, rest in peace Tony Bennett What an amazing artist I just heard the news yesterday and um, it brought me back to this song, which I've always absolutely loved. Oops, I'll just put this over here. Um, if anybody gets the chance, actually, um, to watch a British sitcom from the early 2000s called Early Doors, it's absolutely one of the best sitcoms ever. And they use this song, and I think it's episode five, series one, at the end of the episode, and it was used to kind of uh, provide a soundtrack to a really moving uh, part of the story in the sitcom. I've never seen a song used with, with such great dramatic effect as in that particular sitcom. So I really recommend uh, anybody who's into British comedies to watch it. It's a real beautiful, poignant and moving uh, uh, part of the story and particularly with the use of this song. Um, yeah, Tony Bennett, what can you say? Uh, Frank Sinatra is quoted as saying, is the best in the business. So to come from, praise from, ab uh, praise from above uh, when it's coming from old blue eyes himself. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to play this. Uh, first of all, I've dropped the key from its original key, which I think was B flat or B, and I've dropped it down to A just because it's a little bit easier. There are a lot of chords in this, but... Um, the good news is, is because it's quite a, a sort of gentle paced song, the strumming is dead simple. I just do downstrokes for the strumming. So the majority of the hard work is actually done by your chord hand. That being the case, let's have a look at the chords. So we're going to start off with an A major. So you use your first finger on the first fret, third string, second finger, second fret, fourth string. Then we've got an A augmented. So to play an A augmented, use your first finger on the first fret, second and third strings. So you press down like that. Then your second finger goes on the second fret, fourth string. So that's called an A augmented. Next to it, we've got a B minor seven. So you just use your first finger on the second fret across all the strings. Then we've got an E seven. So you use your first finger on the first fret, fourth string, second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, second fret, first string. Now we've got what is in effect two chords, um, which are the same. If they were played on the guitar and the piano, they'd be two different chords, but because the ukulele's only got four strings, they end up being the same song, but the different chords within different contexts, if you know what I mean. So this is both an A6 and an F sharp minor. So you use your first finger on the first fret, third string, 
second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, second fret, second string. So that is both classed as an F sharp minor and an A6. The next chord up is a B add nine. So to play a B add nine, you use your first finger on the second fret, first string, second finger, third fret, third string, third finger, fourth fret, fourth string, and fourth finger, fourth fret, second string. So that's a B add nine. Then we've got a C sharp seven, sus four. So you use your first finger across the first fret, and then it's up to you. You can either use your third and fourth finger on the second fret, second and first strings, like that, or you can just use your the tip of your third finger um, to uh, press down on the second fret, first and second strings. So that's called a C sharp seven sus four. Now we've got a C sharp seven, so all you do is basically use your first finger on the first fret and your third finger, second fret, first string. So that's a C sharp seven. The next chord we've got up is a D major. So obviously quite an easy chord. So our first finger goes on the second fret, first, fourth string, second finger, second fret, third string, and third finger, second fret, second string. So that's the D major. Now we've got an F sharp minor six. So to play an F sharp minor six, you use your first finger on the second fret, fourth string, second finger, second fret, second string, and third finger, third fret, third string. So that's an F sharp minor six. Next up, we've got a G sharp seven suspended second. So you use your first finger on the first fret, second finger, second fret, second string, third finger, third fret, third string. So that's a G sharp seven sus two. Now we're gonna have a G sharp seven. So all you do is to make a G sharp seven here, leave those fingers where they are and add your little finger to the third fret first string. And that's a G sharp seven. Next up, we've got a D major seven. So your first finger goes on the second fret and your fourth finger goes on the fourth fret first string. Then we've got a D minor six. So you use your first finger on the first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, second fret, third string. And then your little finger, your pinky goes on the second fret, first string. So that is a D minor six. And then we've also got an A sharp diminished. So to play an A sharp diminished, you use your first finger uh, first fret, third string, second finger, first fret, first string, and your fourth finger, third fret, fourth string. So that's an A sharp diminished. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, the strumming is really simple. So you're just gonna be doing gentle downstrokes. All the hard work is done on the chord hand. So we're gonna start off by doing uh, the introduction to the song. So you're doing two strums on the A, then two strums on A augmented. Then two strums on B minor seven. And then one strum on E seven. Oh, the, then we go to the A. Good life. Then A six. Full of, and then A major seven. Fun. In fact, I, meant, I, I think I've uh, not mentioned the uh, A major seven. To play an A major seven, your second finger goes on the first fret, fourth string, and your third finger goes on the first fret, third string. Sorry, that's an A major seven. Full of fun. Seems to, back to A6. B the I, and then B add nine now. Deal. So you do four strums on the B add nine two, three, four. Then you do two strums on the C sharp seven sus four. And then two strums on the C sharp seven. Mother. Now F sharp minor. Good life, D. Let's you, F sharp minor six, hide all the D sadness, you. Now G sharp seven sus two. Feel. So four strums there, and then four strums on the G sharp seven. 
you want now d major seven really fall in d minor six love for you again now to a take the chance and two strums on a6 two strums on a major seven and then one strum on a6 and then one strum on c sharp uh seven so please be now we go to the f sharp minor honest a augmented with your now to a self f sharp minor six don't try to b minor seven fake romance now we go to e7 it's the and then back to a good life a6 to be a major seven free and x a6 spore the un b add nine no then two strums on the c sharp sus four two strums on c sharp seven like the f sharp minor hard aches d when you f sharp minor six learn you must d face them and then four strums on the G sharp seven sus two. Long. Four strums on the G sharp seven. Please re. And now D major seven. Remember, I still D minor six want you. And in A case you A major seven one and then A seven. I didn't mention that, that's just uh, second finger, first fret, third string. One, da, then A sharp diminished. Why? Well, just B minor seven, wake up. Kiss the D minor six, good life. E seven, good. And then back to A, bye. A augmented. B minor seven, E seven, and then finish on the A six. And then you can give it a bit of a, a flourish if you like at the end there. So there you go. Um, that's the song it's in, in its entirety. Not a very long song. I think it's only uh, clocks it in clocks in at about two minutes. But what an incredible vocal performance from the late great Tony Bennett. Um, I just I wish I could get even near to his ability, but uh, I weren't blessed by the same pipes. <laughs> so um, I do what I can, but I really do enjoy playing this song. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's have a go at this together. So as I always say, I'm putting the chords and lyrics in the uh, link in the description so if you want to take a screenshot of the chords and lyrics and then add them to your own book uh, please feel free to do so okay then so from the top one two three four whoa the good life Seems to be the ideal. Mm, the good life lets you hide all the sadness you feel. You won't really fall in love. For you can take the chance So please be honest With yourself Don't try to fake romance It's the good life To be free and explore the unknown 
whoops. Like the heartaches when you learn, you must face them alone. Please remember, I still want you. And in case you wonder why, well, just wake up. Kiss a good life, goodbye. The Good Life by the late great Tony Bennett. Thank you very much for joining me and if you've got any songs you'd like me to uh, do a tutor tutorial for in the future just leave me a comment in one of the comment sections and I'll get back to you with a tutorial as quickly as possible. Take care for now, bye bye.